Video. So if you're not wearing it, nobody objected. I'm going to charge you for the shirts, okay? That's <laughs> fair, all right? Good. Great cause, and uh, it's a very nice t-shirt. I'm glad everybody is uh, wearing it, okay? Let's talk about some anniversaries today, okay? Celebrating one year from the sales department of Brent Chandler. <laughs> also from sales, Justin Roberts. there. I got that on video too. I told, I told Miller, I said, Miller sold you and sold you, and I said, I told you no more retreads, and he says, I promise you. So Miller's got his line, of neck on the line for you, Justin. Okay? And uh, from the accounting office, Mary Stevens, very welcome. And uh, we've taken this lady out of retirement. She worked with Mr. Samuels and Maxine a long time, and she is uh, committed to helping us clean up our accounting office until the end of the year. And she's already made a Big, big difference because everything we do winds up in there. But uh, Charlotte Smith is here. Charlotte, welcome. <laughs> Sales for the month from the price service. Tony Richardson. Tony, congratulations. <laughs> from Hyundai, Don Rutland. Don, congratulations.
story could not have had a better ending. As I said, uh, probably half of you have met Mr. and Mrs. Boykin. I'm going to introduce them in a second. But uh, Mr. Boykin came into my office when he saw the picture of me in the commercial of being the chief of the officers and the kids. And came in and said, uh, I know I'm not going to win this truck. He's a staunch supporter of higher education. Okay, He's a veteran. He's been married to Vester, I believe, 44, 45 years. The two kids to college. Truly, truly. Great, great couple, great people, and uh, it's really a Hollywood ending because he said, you know, I know I'm not going to win this truck, but uh, I support what you're doing. So, Mr. and Mrs. Boykin, welcome.
Thomas Jefferson said, patriotism is not a short, frenzied burst of emotion, but the long and steady dedication of a lifetime. And I think that's pretty powerful. And as we come up to here next week for 9-11, I grew up in New York. My dad was a policeman for 20 years before he retired and moved to Dallas. I had two friends whose kids were from New York and clean for fire when he died. And all I can say is we're very fortunate. I mean, a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. But I've been all over the world. I'm fortunate to have been on dealer trips. And, you know, still the greatest country in the world. It really is. And we've got to be thankful for what we've got. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. But, you know, you've all got to look in the mirror each day. And you've got our health. Your families have their health. And that's what's most important. To all of you, I thank you for what everybody does each and every day. And if we could right now, I'm going to ask our employee of the month to come up here in one second. This has been the 18th or 19th month we've done it. And we knew this was going to be a special day. And the person that's going to be the recipient is not more deserving. Every day has the second toughest job in the dealership. I think it's the kind of service manager, okay? I've got an easy job compared to what they do. He's been here for 37 years. He's a great employee. His customers love him. Our employees love him. How about a big round of applause for David Graham? Too many of them. Go ahead.